If you are into nutritional facts and looking after what you eat, these are the games for you. I'm talking about Salad Master and Meat Master. Yes, yes indeed. Two games I got a spiel and very, very interesting indeed. Um, but are these games going to be worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on it? I'm about to open these boxes to find out. So play we all. Both Salad Masters and uh, Meat Master are games for two to, sorry, for one to five players, and they play in about 20 minutes, give or take, ages eight and up. Now, one interesting fact about these games when the company was going to um, bring them out, they were told that they could, by the government, as long as the facts were real. That is, all the nutritional information in the cards had to be real for all the ingredients. So this is something that you can use as a guide. You're actually into nutrition, which is good. Uh, I got the game HPL in, in this pack of two games and a few promo cards as well, which I am very looking forward to find out. So let's start first and foremost with Salad Master. Um, loving the illustration in the in the front of the box, I have to say, and the back is very clear in both languages. And basically, this is going to inform you as to actually what have you been eating. Let's find out inside. This is an occasional game that looks fun. Not very many of those around. Okay, this is the rules in English. Here they are. Good, good, good. And, yep, this game, I don't think it could be any easier to play. And the solar rules as well. And it comes with little stands for the cards. What an absolutely fantastic idea because not many games come with it. And this is so, so elegant. Love it. Let's take a look at the cards. I can open this. Oh. I need to exercise my fingers so they become stronger so I can open games more easily. I used to have stronger fingers when I played guitar. Okay, so we have the back. So this is the calories, protein, carbohydrates, and dietary fiber. I like how they've used, even though this game is uh, language dependent, but I do like how they have used the space very wisely to have both languages together without interfering with each other. The material is okay, they are not, it's not laminated. Uh, there's plenty of space in the box for you to sleeve these cards. And they look pretty good. Uh, nothing too fancy about them. They're just very clear. And then we get the ingredients. So asparagus, avocado, strawberry, green soybeans, okra, persimmon. These are very popular in Spain. Pumpkin, mm. cauliflower. I actually like cauliflower. Um, yeah, so you know, even raw. 
cabbage. A cucumber that gives me, you know, the burpees, so I have to be very careful because I have repeat all the time. Kumquat, I need to try it. Ginkgo nut, I've never tried chestnut. Oh, love chestnuts, 100 grams. Oh, and in the back, you get all the information. Oh, wow. <gasps> so, really? So, 100 grams of chestnuts have 147 calories, that's not bad. 2.8 grams of calorie, of protein, not bad at all. Carbohydrate, which is to say sugar, is 46, so 36, or nearly 40. Wow, that's a lot of carbohydrate in there. I have to be careful because I love them. I love eating them. Mm. I think this game is going to be a wake up call for so, so many. Oh, wakame. I love wakame seaweed. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What, what interesting things. Rocky, I don't know what it is. Peach. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. I wonder if they have edamame beans. I want to find out. Sorry, I need to find out. I love wakame. Oh, dragon fruit, tomato, corn, red pepper, bok choy, uh, bean, bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, radish, broad beans. Oh, I can see shiitake, sweet potato, rice, further. Oh, well, green peas. Okay, this could be the mame beans, I guess. Or it's not the same. I'm sure there's not here. Got the strawberry, green soybean. Oh, I we have green soybean. Here we are. <laughs> this better be good. Oh, that's not bad. Lots of protein, not a lot of sugar, plenty of fiber. I can keep eating them. So, okay, so, okay, that. You can see it. this game has already changed um, a few things I didn't know about food in general. Uh, I could spend a long, long time looking into it. So, 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 what about Meat Master now? This is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting really excited about this because I like to look after what I eat and I love cooking. So, um, I'm, this is exciting for me. Anyway. That's this going to Meat Master, which is probably going to be about the same game, I guess. Exactly the same uh, things inside with the card things. The rules are just as simple with solo rules, and then the cards that we need to look into to figure out what. This is all up. So, for these, instead of having calories and fiber and so on and so forth, we have fat, cholesterol, calories, and protein. So, not all the fiber. <laughs> Sorry. In here, these are the mission cards most calories, second most calories, fuels, most protein, blah, 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 blah. And then the cards. So we have horse mackerel, concrete eel, sweet fish, angler fish, sardines. I love fish, so this is oh bonito. Ah, uh, bonito is young tuna. Wow, not bad. What the fat? Wow, some of these things have a lot of fat. I did not know that. Fro oh no, I don't like eating frogs. Because they suffer an awful lot. So no, no, no frogs for me. Sorry. I don't want that. Chicken wings. I eat a lot of chicken wings. So ooh, I have a lot of What? You eat sparrows? No. Sparrows are I don't know, we have them in Spain all over the place. We don't eat sparrows. We don't eat frogs either. Well, some people do, I don't. Sparrows. What? Duck, lamb, yes, lamb loin, lamb shoulder, pork tongue, mm. tenderloin, pork, 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 horse. Yes, yes, people. We have horse meat in Spain. What can we say? 
beef tongue, tenderloin, beef, lots of beef, rabbit, yes, wild boar, sea urchin. These are actually surprisingly I mean, we have an awful lot of these things in Spain. Corbicula, interesting. Turban shell, oysters, abalone, another clam, tuna, pond smelt. I don't think we have that. Or maybe we do. Puff fish, no, we don't. Flounder, we don't know. Rats, never, yeah. Uh, Seashell. Well, the thing is, that I don't know if we have, we use different names for it, but okay, so that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've, um, I've spent a bit too long doing this. Uh, no, I'm never going to eat sparrow, ever. Not going to happen. Thank God you don't have swallow here either. Urgh. That would be terrible. So anyway, this is Salad Master and Meat Master. And I am really looking forward to finding out exactly how these two play together. Because I think it's going to be make eating habits very very interesting. I think I will take this to the office where I have some friends, uh, some of my work colleagues who are vegetarians and see how they feel about this. It would be interesting. So play wheel. Sparrows, that's disgusting. How could they eat that? Poor animals. I know, I'm a hypocrite. 